Hello, my front end friends. If you've ever had a menu or something that sort of slides in from off screen like this one's doing, or you might have done lots of other things that just involve translates or moving stuff around uh, side to side. And what can happen is while they're moving in, if you look at the very bottom of the page here, you'll see I'm getting some horizontal scrolling coming in as those things are coming over because we have some overflow. And a lot of the time, the first thing you try doing is in this case, the navigation's in my header. So I try an overflow X of hidden. And I think that's gonna solve it, but instead of solving it, it creates this much worse scenario where we get some scrolling in here. And the reason for that is if we change the overflow in one direction, we're actually changing it in both. In the other direction, it is changing to an overflow of auto instead. And as you know, with overflow auto, you get scroll bars. And so we're getting this and it's not what you wanted. And then you have to result to like, you know, you go, okay, if I can't do that, then I wouldn't put it here, but then on your body uh, often, or even on your HTML, you might end up with an overflow hidden on that instead. And sometimes that does enough to solve the problem, but this can actually cause issues with like double scroll bars and other weird stuff, depending on what you're doing coming up or these extra scrolling areas, you don't actually want them. Uh, depending again, it won't always happen, but depending on how you have things set up, there's potential for this not being what you want it to be. And it can feel a little bit hacky just doing that as a general use case like that anyway. Luckily though, we have a new solution instead. And what that is, um, is we can come in and we, with our overflow, I'm gonna do the same thing, overflow of X, but instead of using hidden, I'm gonna use clip. And if I use clip there, no more issues whatsoever. So it's pretty awesome. You can see that it's just working. There's no issues with this. It's it's coming in. There's no more scroll bars at the bottom. It's not doing that weird thing. And then Clip was created as a way that we can control the overflow in a way like Hidden does, but it does it without creating a scrollable thing in the other direction, right? The overflow in the Y is still just set to visible and we don't run into any issues. And there are a few differences between Clip and Overflow Hidden. So I don't wanna do a blanket statement that you should just use Clip instead. But if ever you do try and use Hidden and you run into some problems with it changing things in the other direction, uh, Clip is what you're after. And I know this can solve a lot of problems for people because I often get this where they wanna control overflow only in one direction. This is the way to do it. Now there's one other thing that's really cool with Clip Margin, but it doesn't really make sense in the context of a navigation like this. So here's a really uh, simple demo <laughs> that I have here where I just have this child that's overflowing outside of the parent. So parent, child, overflowing. Uh, and so on the parent, once again, we can just come in and in this uh, we'll do an overflow and I'm just gonna do clip. And this could work if you're doing it in one direction uh, or both. But what we get with this is an overflow clip margin. And if I do that, let's just say one rem, it's going to let it overflow, but only by one rem. So we can actually control how far we're overflowing out of things, uh, which I think is just really kind of awesome. Uh, and I'm really happy that we have this too. I, again, don't have like great use cases, but it's one of those things that if you just know, you're almost never gonna use it, but when you do need it, you're gonna be very happy that it's there. So a really quick tip this week, if you like quick tips like this, I have a playlist of these types of videos. You can find that right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, I wanna thank Andrew, Simon, and Tim, as well as all my other enablers of awesome, channel supporters, and patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.